Modern Math Tutorials. I am Teacher Net, and if this is the first time you have viewed Teacher Net Explains, kindly subscribe, like, and tap the notifications bell. So this time, we're going to study operations and functions. We're going to learn how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions to create a new function. So let's have these following examples. Okay, we have three given functions. f of x equals x plus 3, g of x equals 4x minus 1, and h of x equals 8x squared plus 10x minus 3. Now find f plus g of 4. How are we going to solve this? First, f plus g of 4 is also the same as f of 4 plus g of 4. So we're going to evaluate the functions f and g at x equals 4, then add them. First for f of 4. So the given function for x, which is x, f of x equals x plus 3, will now become 4 plus 3. Plus, then evaluate g of x at x equals 4. So it will now become 4 times 4 minus 1. Next, by following PEMDAS, we're going to multiply 4 by 4 first. So 4 plus 3, positive 4 times 4 is positive 16 minus 1. Then, perform the, um, the remaining operations. 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 16 is 23, minus 1 is 22. So f plus g of 4 is equal to 22. Okay. Next, with the same given functions, this time, we're going uh, to find f minus g of 4. So just like what we did in the first example, that is f minus g of 4 is also the same as f of 4 minus g of 4. Okay, It's almost the same as the first example. The only difference is that um, in this second one, we use subtraction. So evaluate f of x at x equals 4. So it will become 4 plus 3 minus evaluate g of x at x equals 4. So 4 times x is 4 minus 1. Next, 4 plus 3 minus 4 minus 4 is 16 minus 1. And then, we're going to distribute this negative sign to 16 and to negative 1. So that is negative 16 times, or negative 1 times 16 is negative 16. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1. 4 plus 3 is 7. Minus 16 is negative 9. Plus 1 is negative 8. Hence, f minus g of 4 is equal to negative 8. Okay, next. Okay, with the same given, we're asked to find f times g of 4. So let's rewrite f times g of 4. Let's make it f of 4 times g of 4. Okay? Then evaluate f of x at x equals 4. So we have 4 plus 3. Multiply it by g of x at x equals 4. So 4 times 4 minus 1. 4 plus 3 is 7. And then 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1. 7 times 15. And 7 times 15 is 105. Therefore, f of g of 4 is 105. Okay, next. How about um, find h over g of 4? So that is h over g of 4 is also the same as h of 4 over g of 4, okay? 
So, let's evaluate the given h function at x equals 4. It will now become 8 times 4 squared plus 10 times 4 minus 3. Well, over, g of 4 is 4 times 4 minus 1. By following PEMDAS, 8 times 4 squared is 16 plus 10 times 4 is 40 minus 3. For the denominator, 4 times 4 is 16 less 1. Okay. 16 times 8 is 128 plus 40 minus 3. Then the denominator is 15. 128 plus 40 is 168 less 3 all over 15. 168 minus 3 is 165 over 15. And both of them are divisible by 5. 165 divided by 5 is 33, while 15 divided by 5 is 3. And 33 over 3 is 11. Therefore, h of g of 4 is equal to 11. We may also solve the previous example this way. h of x over g of x. Function h of x is 8x squared plus 10x minus 3, while g of x is 4x minus 1. Then factor out the numerator. Factors of 8x squared are 4x and 2x. Well, factors of negative 3 are negative 1 and positive 3. Then copy the denominator. Then by cancellation rule, we may cancel this. And what's left is 2x plus 3. So, this is the value of h over g of x. How about h over g of 4? Okay, so we're going to evaluate this function at x equals 4. So that is 2 times 4 plus 3. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 3, 11. So same answer we have derived in the first method. So you have just learned how to perform operations and functions involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And it's like creating a new function. Now, in the same manner, when we substitute a function to all the variables in another function, that's like creating a new function also. And the operation involved in that case is what we call composition of functions. And some call it as function of functions. So let's, let's learn what composition of functions are. So, given the functions g of x equals x squared plus 9x minus 1 and k of x equals x plus 5, suppose we are asked to find j of k of x. Okay. j of k of x can also be expressed as j of k of x okay so let us replace k of x with its value in the given is equal to x plus 5 then let's evaluate the function j at x equals at x equals x plus 5 so all x's of j of x will become x plus 5 so that is x plus 5 squared plus 9 times x plus 5 minus 1. Let's square x plus 5. This square of the first term is x squared. Then product of the two terms is 5x multiplied by 2 is 10x. Plus square of the second term is 25. Plus distribute 9 to x and to positive 5. So positive 9 times x is 9x 
Then 9 times 5 is 45 minus 1. Then combine like terms. x squared, then combine 10x with 9x. 10x plus 9x is 19x. And combine 25 with 45 and with negative 1. 25 plus 45 is 70 minus 1. It's 69. Hence, j of k of x is equal to x squared plus 19x plus 69. Okay. Find j of k of 3. In our previous example, we have seen that j of k of x is equivalent to x squared plus 19x plus 69. Now, to find j of k of 3, we're going to evaluate this function at x equals 3. So, 3 squared plus 19 times 3 plus 69. 3 squared is 9. 19 times 3 is 57. Then plus 69. Sum of this 3 is 9 plus 57 is 68. 6 or 66. And then 66 plus 69 is 135. So J of K of 3 is 135. Next, we're asked to find k of j of x. That is, k of j of x can also be written as k of j of x this way. Next, j of x is x squared x squared plus 9x minus 1. Now we're going to evaluate the given function k of x at x squared plus 9x minus 1. So all x values of the given of the function k will now become x squared plus 9x minus 1 then plus 5. By combining like terms we have x squared plus 9x plus 4 it's equivalent to k of j of x. How if we are asked to solve for k of j of, let's say, negative 2? So we just have to substitute negative 2 to all x's of this function, of this new function. That will become negative 2 squared. Okay, plus 9 times negative 2 plus 4. It's positive 4 minus 18 plus 4. 4 minus 18 is negative 14 plus 4. It's negative 10. So that's, okay. that's how we perform operations and functions involving addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and composition of functions. Until next time!